Hi guys, and welcome to my VW225 build. I do apologise, it's been a while since I've um, made a video. Excuse the uh, messy air and the cool light. I'm currently working in my in my shed. Now, I picked up this door here. Let me say, six months ago, it's been sat in my garden. I've been off doing other little jobs. Um, see, the plan is for this. Is to sand it all down. Now, what I didn't realise when I picked it up is how the paint job over the top. And the only thing I don't like with buying something that's had a paint job over the top is you never really know how well it's been done. So I'm going to sand it back as much as I possibly can and check there's no peeling or anything like that. Um, and if you are going to paint obviously you want to get rid there you can see the, the shine reflecting off the paint there the light you want to get rid of that if you can there's a little bit more like that I mean even there you can see there's a tiny bit of reflection there I get rid of all that any old there have been any old stickers or anything with all the glue and the same underneath that get rid of the shine All little areas like this, even little bits like this, and a little little mark on it. When it comes to paint, you wish you spent a bit of time just sanding that off. And look when you're sanding, because when you're sanding, you tend to notice a lot more. Now look out for little things like this. It'll take you two minutes. Just give that a little bit of filler, a little sand over. All around, so as you can see, oh, there's another one there. What is that a bit of filler? A little bit like this. Even check around, all around the edges there. Because you'd be surprised when you I'd buy it if you were to sell it in the future. But I walk around and have a look at these areas. There's nothing better than having a nice, a nice edge. Now here I've got a small amount of rust there. I ain't tiny bits, nothing to worry about. Now I'm gonna give that obviously really good sand down. Then some rust treatment. Now you can buy the Ron Seal one, which is absolutely brilliant stuff, comes in a little tiny container like that. Then it's about a tenner. Brilliant stuff. But you can go to Wilkinson's and buy a, a tub which is probably three times the size and it's about a fiver and it does exactly the same thing and I absolutely recommend it, it's brilliant, it's in a blue blue container so obviously that's going to be sanded down, rust treated let's say it again, all this sanded down all looking nice then when we've got that to that stage, it's all sanded down including all the filling bits we'll go with a lighter sandpaper um, I currently haven't got any in the van to show you, but it's a bit smoother just to smooth it off. I mean, everybody has their own ways of doing this, so there's no real right and wrong way as such. Now, I will recommend, I will recommend these paints. Pro XL. Now, I do have a compressor down there, as you can see. So I could spray it with a compressor and paint, and it'd probably save me an absolute fortune. But then you've got to drag your compressor out and you've got to shift it from one of the garden to the front and this, that and the other. But rather, just use these. Now the great thing with these, is once you've done all your priming and everything else, this has got your, your main coat, which they mix these paints to order. So that's the proper VW colour for that van. Um, they mix the colours for you. Now this has your main colour as well as your oh no it's gone from here as well as your top coat, your shine, whatever you want to call it, all in one. Now in the bottom there you see there's a little pulley. And you pop a ring on the end of that, which is in the cap there. Let's, let's see that, you pull that off, thread it through the little hole in the bottom there, pull it out, 
and that pops the can and it mixes the two chemicals and you give it a good old shake and you yeah, need to do a couple of coats of that to do a third push for peace of mind brilliant stuff definitely recommend it it's just as good job of paint as it does with a compressor I'm just too lazy to pull the compressor out and um, of course these are all jobs you can do this time of year you've got a shed at the end of the garden you've got a little bit of heater definitely recommend the old diesel heater if you ain't got one of them brilliant things absolutely brilliant don't cost nothing to run it at all and I prefer to use that than plug in the electric one. There you go. So yeah, anyway, I'll post the video as I'm going along the door and the rest of the project. If any of you guys want to me to pick up on anything in, in particular, just leave it in the comments, let me know, and I'll see if I can do a video on it. Um, of course, I've got a whole front end down there. I don't know if you can see it in this light, which is second hand one but it had all new brakes and arms and god knows what else so it was a bit of a bargain so i thought well i'm going to grab that so that will be going on the van at some point um plan is to give it a bit of a clean up and a bit of a freshen up and that before it does but there you go um, anyway to my next video